What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to DD Radio, the second half of this episode. We are getting into a brand new segment, but before we do that, once again, I am the Manly Stanley Standpie, joined by... Hey! And... Logan. Delay, Logan. So, we are going to <laughs> start a brand new segment uh, that we've never done before that might be a little bit fun. It's going to be a little bit interesting, uh, or very interesting, depending on who you are, but it's definitely experimental. So, with that said, Logan, take us through Brolosophy. All right. So, what we're going to try with Brolosophy is to take a philosoph uh, philosophical subject and uh, we'll just run with it we'll discuss it our thoughts on it and and see where things go awesome so with that said uh you have our first subject of discussion so why don't you go ahead and tell us what it is what what are we talking about this time all right so this week we're gonna talk about determinism versus free will please please explain determinism and free will to <laughs> for me. those who don't, don't know, know as the as the crickets what? chime in so, so for those who don't know what is what is this uh, subject <laughs> I don't know what I'm getting myself into, but explain <laughs> this to me. <laughs> well, I would assume I would assume everyone knows what free will is. Correct. Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, determinism is essentially the opposite of that, meaning uh, that everything, even uh, events in our human lives, are determined by external causes. So essentially, destiny. Destiny versus free will. Okay, so uh, I'm glad to know that my interpretation of what that meant was indeed correct. <laughs> so, so <laughs> yes, I understood determination. In other words, a predetermined fate. So, okay. With okay. that said, uh, Logan, this this is s sort of your segment and your intro. So, do you do you want to throw out something real quick? Uh, sort of state the quick positions on these two subjects uh, a little bit more in depth and and how you feel about them. So, hmm, I believe that this is actually a very tricky subject, and from the perspective of a human being, someone who's so small and a universe that's so vast, it's it's really hard to say uh, which which is the actual thing. So, if you take a look at these two things, you see that they're entirely polar opposites, and the thing about opposites is that they make the other one possible. So in a sense, it's as if you need both determinism and free will for either to exist. So my stance is that both exist. I know this probably sounds a little crazy, but you kind of have to accept the contradiction that both things exist in this world, that we have the ability to make a choice, but also that there is an amount of determined outcome to things. Um, I'll kind of stop there before I go on and give you guys the chance to to talk about your stance on it so I don't sure, kind of no. cover everything. Because I, if I get the chance to keep on going, <laughs> I won't shut up. <laughs> right on. So I'm, I'm kind of ready to jump in. So determinism is... Between the two, do, which one do I believe is, is more accurate? So if you believe in that there, the idea that there are multiple universes, right, with different outcomes for each universe based on individual choices that are made and each of them causes a branching path, then one could argue that both exist in the context of, you know, you're determined to do a specific sequence of events within a certain universe and you are determined to do a different set of them in another. And... So with them being infinitely many, and that's its own conversation for another day. Um, oh, quantum universe, man. Yeah, baby. So <laughs> I, I do believe that... Read my mind. <laughs> so from a, a spiritual standpoint, right, there are those who make the argument about God, that God is all-knowing and knows everything that people will do, and that seems like a contradiction with free will as well. But that's actually where I'm going to go with this to establish the concept of free will in relation to omnipotence. Because omnipotence implies predeterminism, and free will implies that that's not possible. So, in that context, the idea is that free will exists, but statistically speaking, this god power is so 
omnipotent that it's able to statistically determine what people will choose based on who they are as an individual and how their life will pan out. They have the computing power to make that kind of predetermination. So the idea is, yes, we as people do have our choices, but even when you're about to make a move, somebody can say to you, you know, next you'll say, <laughs> you know, as like Joseph Joestar does it all the time. So the idea is you can sort of still interpret based on a person's personality what they're going to do next. And some would argue that people are bound by their own fate because of their personalities. They are bound to make certain choices. So in that sense, it's like you have your, your predisposition to certain behaviors. And it requires outside stimulus just to change what you'll do unless you are an erratic person anyway, in which case there is not really a pattern to establish. People all follow patterns in the first place. So we develop our determinism, but we have our free will in the process of doing so. That's my take. I don't know if I actually have a take or not, but I'm just going to set an example, I guess, and you guys can convey on this. So say Joe Schmo is walking down the street. He's walking at a certain pace. There's a banana peel in front, um, banana peel in front of Joe Schmo. At that certain pace that he's walking, he's definitely going to step on the banana peel and slip and fall. Is that destiny? That's his destiny, right? It's determined that the calculations are there, that he's going to fall on that banana peel. But now if you tell him that beforehand, hey, the way at the pace that you're going, uh, that you're going to fall on this banana peel, now, for him, is is it going to be like a free will thing for him to change that pace? And then, I guess, not you guys fall. can kind of think, yeah. yeah, not fall. Like, So right. is that like free will and the destiny kind of thing? Or so uh, with, where, where where do we stand on that? So with, like, with that said, um, that kind of ties into the same, you know, I'm, I'm using the, the spiritual yeah. presence as, as what I'm, yeah. you know, God being all knowing and stuff would set the determination in advance would know what people choose or it's, it's the and also the same thing as the initial uh, like the prime mover the initial mover like from Ar aristotle era of you know philosophy the idea that something pushes that first domino and everything happens as a consequence of that first domino so we can say that based on just the natural flow of events the natural you know the naturally occurring process when you push a domino you know that if they're set up properly that the last domino will be knocked down it's that same idea of whatever comes first like can sets the sets up the future like any event that transpires is a consequence of the events that came before it people like to say everything happens for a reason and they view it for like the sake of well this is happening to me now so that something else better happens tomorrow right my take on that has always been Yes, everything does happen for a reason, several reasons, and those reasons happened before this moment. They led to this moment, consequences of every action. So, in that sense, your free will determines your fate, and your fate is determined only because you made the choices you made in life. Now, I'll apply this to, like, anime. <laughs> 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 Alright? Your favorite... Was Shinji destined to get into the fucking robot, or did he use free will to get into the fucking robot? <laughs> well, that's uh, that's interesting. The idea that uh, at the end there are a lot of choices that Shinji has to make that include how he's gonna, you know, use instrumentality to influence the world as it exists. So he had to make choices there. But also, it's because of humans being, you know, limited by human limitation. You you can't. You can't have – everybody can't have happiness. There's always, like, you know, a weighted outcome to it. So in that sense, the, the idea of instrumentality is it eliminates those human limitations and kind of removes the concept of fate because you're just sort of having everything at once. But that's Evangelion. <laughs> 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 I would say JoJo Part 6, that's got some important stuff there. But anyway, Made in Heaven. We'll talk about that another time. Logan, take it away, man. So – yeah, I'm actually glad you mentioned the domino effect because um, that's one really good way to think of things. Everything is just a chain of cause and effect that are building upon each other. So the future is just the past having built up to that point. And really, if you trace the chain of cause and effect back, you should, or at least one would think, you would reach an initial cause, assuming everything isn't just infinite as you know, we believe the universe may be. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, as far as, as determinism and free will go, like I said, uh, 
it's not really a question for me of believing in one over the other, especially since from our, our limited human perspective in this this vast, vast universe that we can never step outside of it and see, see except from within. Um, I, I kind of just entertain ideas. Um, and the best way, rather than getting into all this technical um, technical jargon and and you know mumbo jumbo, I'll put it in a, an allegorical term to make it just easily accessible for everyone. Is Good that idea? <laughs> think, yeah. So I I tend to think of things like uh, I tend to think of life almost as a story because uh, as you guys know. And I'll now inform uh, our, our listeners, uh, I do a lot of writing in my free time, like fiction writing. And in a sense, you could say a writer or any creator is is God over his work. He's creating something. And you usually do have some kind of plan or idea for a story. Something is going to happen. You, you either know a big event or you know the ending or you know the beginning. Maybe you know the whole thing. A lot of people plot. But as you're writing... You never know everything, and sometimes when uh, you're in the middle of it, you know things just happen. Your characters kind of do their own thing. They they divert from the plan or the idea you had in some way you didn't expect. And if there were, if there ever let let's just keep it open. Let's say there is an omnipotent God, like you you've mentioned before, Stan. What if we are just as responsible? For creating our story as he is in which case again determinism and free will both exist so that's that's one allegory i like to entertain is that we're all just living a story we're all we're all technically main protagonists and sometimes we we do what our writer intends and sometimes we take on a life of our own very cool so i, I think that's uh that's a pretty safe point to sort of table the discussion and leave it open for listeners to share their own take on it in our comment section just so we can hear how they feel about these two subjects of determinism and free will uh, but I, I personally i enjoyed this i think brolosophy is a pretty cool segment i'd like to do it again <laughs> <laughs> our brolosopher <laughs> yeah. the brolosopher's legacy <laughs> the philosopher stone <laughs> cool so yeah and let us know as well since the entire uh, segment here this entire part of dd radio was devoted to philosophy i'd like to know if you listeners enjoyed it if you would be interested in hearing it again because you know this kind of feedback is how we do determine what shows we or what segments will go into our shows what we you know if you guys want to hear about it we'll still talk about it on our own time but should we record it for you all so with that said i think that pretty much sums up the first ever segment of philosophy and i'm pretty happy with how it went how about you guys really good man i mean um i was being Star key about it but it was fun it was <laughs> opened my mind you know <laughs> oh well uh i'll, I'll like i said know. i'll apply it to like video games and anime and all that kind of shit like i'll try to apply the philosophy to that <laughs> to that <laughs> right on so yeah logan any closing remarks uh i mean you guys know i love this stuff i talk about it if it's something our listeners want to hear uh you kind of already dropped the uh, multiversal stuff on us, so uh, I think I think that could definitely be a, a next topic if if they want to hear it. All right, there we go. So we have a possible next <laughs> show topic for uh, philosophy. Awesome. Well, with that said, thank you all for joining us for this episode of DD Radio here on the new channel, the Manly Stanley Stand Pie. And if you enjoyed it, if you've yeah, you know, please feel free to subscribe. If you haven't already listened to the first part of this, one, what are you doing here? Two, go ahead and listen to it. It should be in the playlist. And that pretty much sums it up. Catch us, obviously, on themanlystanley.com is where we record and upload this. I am the Manly Stanley Standpie, and, of course, as always, I am joined by... Kay! And... And Logan. <laughs> awesome, and thank you so much for listening. Uh, to all of our fans out there, thank you for sticking with DD Radio. We'll hope to see you next time.